What is up everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and I am back on the channel and today is the beginning of the Jaguars first game week of the NFL season. Now I've been releasing videos talking about the floor and the ceiling for wins for the Jaguars heading into 2019 but I haven't given you my full out prediction on, on what I think the Jaguars will go in 2019 and that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be going through game by game telling you which games I think we're going to win, which game I think we're going to lose, and how each of these games is going to play out and if the Jaguars will make the playoffs in 2019. But before we do that, why don't you go ahead and drop a like down below if you are excited for the Jaguars season to get up and started and hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. If you're a Jags fan, you are new to this channel. I drop six videos a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them are just straight facts. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Jaguars 2019 season preview. So the Jaguars kick off their season at home against the Kansas City Chiefs. And this is going to be a very, very important matchup. I think a lot of what the Jaguars season is riding on is how well they play the Chiefs in week one. If they shit the bed and they lose by a lot, this is going to be a long, long season for us Jags fans. But if they go out there and get a victory, or if they manage to keep it close even, if they lose by less than 10 points, I still think the Jags have a chance to make it to the, uh, make it to the playoffs and really compete inside the AFC because the Chiefs are, of course, one of the favorites to win the entire AFC. And I think the Jags have a benefit of being at home. And it's not like last time that they played. The Chiefs didn't kill the Jags. I mean, it may have looked like it on paper, but the quarterback Blake Bortles also threw four interceptions in that game. And this Jaguar defense picked up picked off Patrick Mahomes twice. So this defense, as long as it plays to its caliber that we all know it can and be elite, then the Jaguars should have no problem. And if Nick Foles shows up to play, does his job, steps up in the big moment, then the Jaguars should be able to win this game. I have a lot of high hopes for the Jags this year. It started off very, very low. It started off with me just thinking that we were going to win seven games. This is a very tough schedule, and I still think the Jags do some Jaguar-like stuff later on in the season. But I think what they don't do is let us down week one. I think the Jags go out there and beat Kansas City at home to start off the season 1-0. That may be a bold take to some of you, but I really think that this team is built uh, to win that game, especially week one at home with the fans being so excited, so ready to go. I think the Jags beat the Chiefs, and they take a 1-0 start to the season. Now the Jags, they just won't win two games in a row. Because I told you, I said they're going to do some Jags stuff. And one of that one of those Jags stuff is going to be losing to a divisional opponent in week two. I think the Jags fall to Houston. Um, it's they're a good, a doubt, a really solid team. And this is the AFC South we're talking about. And the Jags usually trade blows with all AFC South teams. They don't really ever get swept. They don't really ever sweep. It's usually a one-one split. And I think that the Jags fall to Houston early in the season. I think it'll be a pretty low-scoring game, kind of like a 17 to 10 game. And uh, Houston is the home team, so I think that they will be able to squeak out a victory, and the Jags will start their season off 1-1. One one. But I think in Week 3, they do something that they haven't done since 2016, and that is finally beat the Tennessee Titans. I think us Jags fans can all speak uh, together in unison by saying, we can go 2-14, and 14, but as long as those two wins are against the Houston Texans, I mean against the Tennessee Titans, we will have a good season. Because Jags fans all hate the Titans because tuck the Fightins. The Fightins fucking suck. I hate them. I hate them to death. And the Jags never beat them. And now that we have a new quarterback in town, I think this is the time. And it's on prime time. It's early in the season. And it is at home in Jacksonville. The Jaguars are going to start off the season 2-1 by beating the Tennessee Titans at home on Thursday night football. And it's not going to be a domination by any stretch, but I expect the fans to be really happy. And I expect a lot of the players to be happy too because they finally, finally got the better end of the Tennessee Titans. So I think the Jaguars start off their season 2-1 after beating the Titans and the Chiefs in a shocker in week one. The Jags then travel to Denver for a 125 game. The Jags are not very good on the West Coast, but I am not afraid of Joe Flacco's led Broncos. 
The Jaguar defense is always very, very good against Joe Flacco, and it doesn't even need to be the 2017 Jaguar defense. Who can forget the 2011 Monday night game? It was just on big cat country the other day. Uh, when they beat him, and Joe Flacco went like 4 for 12 for 50 yards or something crazy like that. Joe Flacco, uh, the Jaguar defense always seems to have Joe Flacco's number. He always struggles mightily against Jacksonville, and I think the Jags catch this victory. You know, it is on the road. It is a West Coast game, and there is every chance in the world the Jags might jag it, but I am going to say that the Jags end up getting that victory, and they start off the season 3-1 and one by beating the Denver Broncos. Now, they travel to Carolina, and I think this is one of those games that's going to be back and forth, but I think the Jags do drop this game. I think they lose to Carolina. Carolina is one of those teams, you know, the whole NFC South is just one of those divisions that I think the Jags just, they're not better than any of those teams except for maybe Tampa Bay. So I think the Jags won't sweep the NFC South. I think they could beat Tampa Bay. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But I don't think they could beat Carolina. And the upcoming week, I don't think that we can beat the Saints, even though it is at home. So I think the Jaguars, after three weeks, go, I mean, after six weeks, go three and three, 50% after six weeks. And we go in to the next week and we play the Cincinnati Bengals, which I think is a very, very easy victory. I think the Jags are going to be able to win these games, you know, against the teams that are lesser than us. You know, that's something that the Jags struggle with often is beating the teams that aren't as good as them. But I think this year with a new quarterback, a new leader, a new offensive system, I'm hoping that this year is the year that they finally beat all the teams that they're supposed to beat. And Cincinnati is without a doubt one of those teams that they should beat. I shouldn't spend a whole lot of time talking about it. I think they beat Cincinnati to put them up at 4-3. and three. We then play the New York Jets. A lot of people like the Jets this year and think that they're going to turn some things around and be a pretty good team this year. But it is at home, and I like the Jags, and... They may have Le'Veon Bell, but the Jags always seem to have Le'Veon Bell's number. So I think the Jags start off their first half of the season 5-3. and three, Two more wins and losses. It's looking good. And then we play Houston at Jacksonville. Or no, we don't. We play Houston in London. Excuse me. And that's where we thrive. So that's where we're going to beat Houston. We avenge the loss from earlier in the season. And now we're 6-3. and frickin three. Could you believe it? What can go possibly wrong? Oh, a Colts game in Indianapolis. We're going to take that L. We're going to take that L right there, and we're going to be 6-4 in four because we're not going to sweep the Colts. We will beat the Colts once, but we're not going to sweep them, and that is our loss. We go 6-4, and four, and then we play the Titans, and it's going to be at home, and uh, I want to say we win this game, but I'm going to say we lose. I'm going to say 6-5. and five. So now we lost two in a row to the Colts and the Titans divisional game. We go and we play... Uh, Tampa Bay, and that's going to be a victory. So we go to 7-5 and five on the season after beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then we play the Chargers at home, and this is a very, very important game if we want to stay alive in the playoff race. But unfortunately, they're going to jag it, I think, and now we lose again, and now the Jags are sitting at 7-6. and six. So now we play the Raiders, the Oakland Raiders, and we're going to give ourselves a victory there. 8 and six on the season and then we play the Falcons and the Colts so I think we beat the Colts I think we beat the Colts yeah we'll beat the Colts we'll beat the Colts once so are we gonna go nine and seven or ten and six do we beat the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta I don't think so I think the Jags lose to the Falcons and the Jags finish the season nine and seven that is about as realistic as it gets. Now, this is a good Jaguar team and is a built team, but this schedule is super, super hard. So don't be hating on me in the comments down below by saying, you're such a pessimist, you know, 9-7, and seven, that's, that's way, that's not enough. You know, I'm just, I'm not ridiculous like other people. You know, I'm in other Jaguar Facebook groups and people are out there saying we're going to go 12-4 and four easy. No way. No way. Not, like, getting double digits, double digit victories this year is going to be difficult. And I think the Colts have a pretty difficult uh, schedule as well. So it's going to be a battle for that division. And it could come down to the last week of the season when we play the Colts. And I really hope it doesn't because the Jags always seem to struggle in clutch situations that involve beating the Colts. So we need to emerge as a playoff team. Who knows if 9-7 and is going to be enough to get it done. It depends on how well the Colts do because I think that's really the only other competitor inside the AFC South that I'm really sketched out about or I think will make an impact. But... In my opinion, 
Nine and seven is how I think the Jaguars will finish their 2019 campaign. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts on what the Jaguars record will be in the comment section down below, and I will reply to every single comment. And that was my Jaguars season preview. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, jet links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Dems are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.